give me your thoughts on the on the seven minute Tony Vitello soliloquy, if you will, to, to open to open Sunday night's press conference. What would you guys make of that? Because a lot of people are talking about it. I, I don't think it's a big deal either way. But what would you guys would you guys make of Tony's? Cl- clearly that clearly he had he had notes. I mean, you know, <laughs> and, I mean, he clearly he clearly had notes when he got to the podium. I think first and foremost, awesome. What we need to remember here, and I've said this, I, I think Grant's going to make a T-shirt. Tony Vitello is Italian. He's emotional. Okay, um, he came into that thing guns blazing, and he had a lot on his mind. And he talked for about seven minutes, and he hit on about seventeen different things. He referenced Noah Webster, great patriot. That was one of the highlights. He slammed uh, the current state of the transfer portal to an extent, not much, but to an extent. Um, he 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 just took a question that was asked to him in Saturday's press conference and just tore it toward a new one uh, here on a Sunday night. It was he was all over the place, man. Um, but but those who follow Tony and have sat through all of his press conferences, it kind of came as no shock. We're sitting there kind of chuckling in the in the in the peanut gallery. The moderator over there, I'm gonna let him remain nameless. He's laughing while Tony's going on. Xander Seacrest is laughing up on the podium when all this is going on. Um, it was just kind of unique, but I, I the, he, here's the basis of it. Um, I think it was a couple of different things. I think that something happened over the weekend in terms of recruiting that that frustrated him, and I'll leave it at that. Also, there was a question asked by a TV reporter who covers Evansville on Saturday, essentially saying, "Hey, Tony, if you guys lose tomorrow, is this season a success or a failure?" And the way Tony answered it, I didn't think he really had an issue with it. Blake Burke had an issue with it, and Tony's going to go to bat for his players, the ultimate players coach. And he was fuming over it. He didn't sleep the night before. And you just got you punch your ticket to the College World Series. You beat down a team twelve to one, and he was fuming. <laughs> well, I I think this, Rob. I mean, had he answered it on Saturday night emotionally, then it then then it changes the narrative about the team a little bit, right? Oh, Tennessee's really feeling the pressure, and it it, it creates this. Boy, that you know, Tennessee's in a vice here. They're really, they're really tight. You know, the whole nine yards. So I actually think his reservation in answering the question on Saturday night what was was pretty was pretty smart by Tony Vitello because it did not create a storyline about boy Tennessee's feeling the pressure heading into Sunday. Everybody was asking and wondering if they were, but Tony didn't feed into that on Saturday night for sure. And then on Sunday. He just went straight Italian on everybody. He just, he just went Tony Vitello on people, Rob. Yeah, and I was—I mean, and I'm just you know speculating here, but I mean, don't you think some of that's probably informed or, or motivated by 2022, and and you know how, how that season ended? Obviously, the question I think was probably motivated by 2022. Sure, but I would—I mean, I, I think Tony's probably—I I guess I'm, I'm doing a poor job of expressing. I guess Tony's feelings about that 2022 team. Or, or no, you know, hell no, that that was a successful season. You know, we had a bad weekend and, and lost, but that was, you know, in his heart, in his mind, I'm, I'm sure he thinks that 2022 team w- was successful, and, you know, despite, you know, what, what happened at the end. And I and I, I think that that probably, you know, and, and he's at the same token probably thinking, you know, had this team, which accomplished everything it accomplished, you know, with the, the offense, offensive records and, you know, had they you know lost in a fluky way this weekend, would this season still have been a success? And obviously, you know, he feels like it would have. And I, I don't argue with him at all on those points. Yeah, I mean, I think ultimately, you know, coach, <laughs> coach had you know some some hard feelings, and I I have no problem with you know anybody speaking their mind. Does it make them right, wrong, whatever? Like. He felt the way he felt. He was passionate about it. I'm all for it. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, and I think we're all guilty of it. Sometimes, you know, the media people will ask a, a question that, you know, maybe is a phrase properly or whatever, and, and, and players or coaches, you know, take exception to it. And, yeah, I, I, let me butt in here. Like, I've certainly asked stupid questions before. 100%. So we all have. I'm not above this. But the way that was phrased – it was really, really bad. Well, and, so, and I yeah. wasn't there, but we've all been there in these settings, like when it's a bowl game or, tur- you know, tournament or when you're when it's some media member who the coach has never seen before who yeah. is popping in covering the covering the visiting team, and, and fires off you know some goofball question like that. It is, 
it's a it's different than if somebody he sees every day or has seen mm-hmm. every day for you know five six years ask it. I mean that's that's a totally different animal. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Yeah, he was kind of he kind of hit the full gamut. I, my favorite part was when you know he got you know he got really emotional talking about Cal Star. Yeah, like, he did. Like real emotion, like, like not just pissed off, like <laughs> like ready to cry. And so like. Yeah, I think if you if you went into old Noah's dictionary and you, you looked up players coach, you go find the picture of Tony Vitello. Because I mean he's he's a guy that, you know, loves his kids and you know, once he found out that, you know, the player or players took exception to that question, you know, it's not surprising that he's gonna come back and especially once they won and you know sure. define it out. Just like he defined out the player for Evansville and praised him and all that, mm-hmm. you know, he did and, and, and continues to do and what he'll look back on many, many years from now. 